Hello and you're very welcome to this video on Banking uh, Based on Learning Outcome 1.8 on the Junior Cycle Business Course. And in this video, what we're going to look at today is the difference between standing orders and direct debits. So firstly, folks, jot down a few ideas. Do you know what the difference between a standing order and direct debit is? If not, no worries. If you do, pause the video, jot down a few ideas and press play to continue. So a standing order then is for a current account holder and it's a transfer of money from your bank account to another bank account. The key thing about a standing order is that it's the exact same amount comes out of your account and goes to the other per exact same amount each time and the uh, time frame doesn't change, the time period doesn't change. So for example of this, if you're paying your rent for example, or your Netflix subscription will be another example. In both these cases, the amount you pay doesn't change. Okay, so if you, your Netflix subscription, say, is 10 euro a month, it's 10 euro. And the time frame doesn't change. So it comes, for example, at Netflix, it comes out the same time every month. Or your rent is due, say, for example, on the first of every month. So key thing with a standing order, it's a direction you give the bank to automatically pay uh, another person the same amount at the same time frame. Okay. A direct debit, on the other hand, is similar in that it's also only open to current account holders and it's also an instruction to tell the bank to pay someone money to their bank account. The difference is, in a direct debit, the amount can change and the time period can change. So, can you think of anything you might use that for? So, an electricity bill or a heating bill would be a good example of something where the amount can change. So, for example, you use more electricity, say, in the winter than you would in the summer because it's darker in winter. So, the amount can change in each bill. And the time can change slightly. So it may not be paid on, say, for example, the bill may not be due on the first day of every month, uh, but can be due at different times. So in this video now, you've learned what a standing order and a direct debit is. The similarity is it's both transferring money from you, telling the bank to transfer money from your account to another person's account. And it's only open to current account holders. The difference is that standing orders at the same time and the same amount, whereas a direct debit is a different amount at a different time. They are the two key, two key things you need to have in your definition. Hope you enjoyed this video, folks. If you have any questions, ask below in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, why not give it a like? And of course, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much for watching now. Bye.